Hello everyone. I hope you guys doing well. This is Cool IT Help and this is the new video tutorial on the Java FX. So today in this video we're going to discuss about the file chooser. So the file chooser can be used to invoke an open dialog window. So the dialog window can be used for selecting a single file or you can select the multiple files with this window. So guys we're going to focus on these two points as you can see on my screen. So the first point is we going to open a single file chooser and we select a single file and then we will open the selected file. Okay guys, now come to the second point. In the second point, we will discuss about the multiple file chooser. So the multiple file choosers gives you the ability to you can select the multiple files at a time and you can open all those selected files. So let's get started. As usual, this is my NetBeans IDE and I have created the JavaFX based project so here we have fxml files so guys i i hope you are aware about this project creation that's simple go to the file menu you have to click on the new project and then you have to select this java fx and then you have to select this third option and when once you press this next button the project will set up for you so what we have done so far we have these three files we have created this project then we have these three files so the first step i will add two buttons on the fxml file so i have already done this i have opened the same fxml file here and i i have added the first button and second button so i have given the name to the first button single file chooser so what i am going to do i will press this button and then i will open that file chooser dialog window okay and with this second button once we press this button so we will open the multiple file chooser dialog window i hope this is clear to you now minimize this one so now come back here in the controller file so now open the controller file so as you can see here i have added these two action methods the first action method is for the button number one and the second action method for the button two so the first button will press and this method will be invoked and once you press the second button this method will be invoked and how I have connected this action method with the buttons so come here in the fxml file and look for the button so here is first button which is the single file chooser okay and uh, here I have given the on action and I have passed the name of the same method that I have created in, in this fxml document controller on the same way for the second button i have connected that method here in on action and i have passed the name of this method here so you can see so we have prepared these two action methods and inside this action method we will open the file chooser so first i am going to open the single file chooser dialog window so what have what we have to do we have need a file chooser class instance so i will create file chooser class and create the object is equal to new file chooser simple okay guys and now use the object dot set so guys, I'm using this set title method to set the title on the dialog window. Okay, you can set the title with the help of this method set title. So I have given the name you can give uh, the name as per your choice. No problem. So now in the third step, we have to open the single file chooser dialog. So we have to use the same object file chooser dot show open dialog and now here you have to pass this stage object but stop here we don't have the stage object in this controller file okay so how we will get it so just focus on this now come here in this file right here you can see that the start method we have passed the argument this is a stage okay so this stage objects is provided by the application on runtime and we have the accessibility only inside the start method but how we will get it so 
if we need instance of the stage object in the fxml controller so we have to come here in the fxml and what we have to do let's watch it this is the fx id i have assigned to anchor pen i have assigned why because because this anchor pen is the base base of all the stuff that we placed okay so this anchor pen has all the children's like buttons and all those stuff so we have to assign this fx id here okay and now come back to the fxml document controller and now create this private anchor pen and this is the fx id that i have used here okay this is the annotation at the fxml this is the basic idea how we can use the controls object that we have placed on the fxml so once you place this once you get the object of this okay now what we have to do here we will get the object of stage how we will get so do like this scroll to and use the same object anchor pen dot get scene dot get window okay now window this get window method will return you the object of window but we have to uh, cast it it into the stage object because we require the stage object so once you do a type casting here you will get the stage object okay so we got this stage object now we will use this is object stage object and we will pass inside this method okay so we have done this thing all set now we will do a clean build of this project and we will see the output by running this program i hope you guys clear on this concept how we get this stage object okay so build is successful now going to execute okay click on the run file okay now we got this stage and we have these two buttons we have done the coding inside the first button so i will click on this button first once you click you will see this window okay you can see that this is the model window you cannot interact until you close it so this is the file chooser is open for us and you can see here on the title we have set this title okay and uh, we have option to select the single file like uh, i'm going to the my picture or something on the desktop we have so going inside the picture we have the screenshot and now here you can select the single file and click open here nothing is open because we have not written the code for opening the file so now come back here in the fxml controller we will do a coding for opening the selected file okay i'm going to close this stage and going inside this fxml document controller so once you select this okay once you select the file show open dialog method will return the file object so we will collect the selected file with help of this file object okay so now now we have we have the selected file inside this object okay guys now before opening the selected file we have to do a check user have selected any file or he just simply press the open button without selecting any file so we have to do a null check here like if file object is not null then what we have to do we have to create the desktop object
okay we need a desktop object is equal to get desktop okay and here you have to use the method of desktop desktop dot open and we will pass the file this object just hold on okay so this line will open the selected file so I hope you clear how we are going to open the selected file with the help of this file chooser so we have to create the desktop class object okay and then we will use this open method to open the file now save and uh, again do a clean build okay guys now go to this file and click on this run file and here's the stage now click on this single file chooser button to open the file chooser and here's our file chooser now I'm going inside the picture and uh, this is our image we're going to select it and now once you click this open button then this image will be opened by the default image viewer okay so just press open so guys you can see here the selected file is open perfectly inside this default image viewer so this was the way you can open the selected file okay guys I'm going to close it and uh, again going to close this stage as well now come back here in the fxml controller.java so now <clears throat> we have covered the first point where we have opened the single file chooser dialog window and then we have opened the selected file now I'm going to describe how we can open the multiple file chooser and then how we will open the all selected files so minimize it now come here inside this multiple file chooser action method so that this action method will be invoked once we press on that button okay I am talking about this button on which we have given the text multiple file chooser so we will do the same thing we required this one the file chooser object so create the object of file chooser and now you can set the title with the help of the set title method open files open multiple files dialog and now we need the stage object so I am going to copy the same line and pasting it here and now at this place what we have to do we will uh, use this file chooser object dot show now you can choose the second one okay we have to open the multiple file selector dialog window so I will choose this one okay and you have to pass this stage object here okay guys that's all save this file and do a clean build of this project again now run this project so guys we got this stage again and we have the second button is ready for click now just click on it okay guys we got this uh, this dialog window that here we have option to select the multiple files so I'm going to open the multiple images so I need a folder where we have a lots of images so just wait we got this folder and now here I'm going to select multiple images so you can click one and you have to press the control key on your keyboard to select the second file and again you have to press the control key third file and every time when you're going to select the multiple file you have to click the control key on your keyboard so I have selected these four files and I'm going to click this 
open button okay nothing will happen because because we have not uh, written the code for opening the multiple files so let's see how we will do that come here in the fxml document controller.java here and now you can see that this is the show open multiple dialog method will return the list of the files that we have selected inside that dialog okay so how we do that i will create the list object to collect the selected files like this this is the simple list which is coming from the java.util.list and now now <clears throat> we have to do a check like uh, if if list is not equal to null then what we have to do we have to iterate over this list like you have to use the for loop and you have to use the file like file colon list and come here inside the bracket and here you need a desktop object like this one so i'm copying the these two lines and i will paste it here and we're getting this unsupported exception no problem press alt enter and you can put it under the try catch okay just save it so you guys have seen this the major point is the show open multiple dialog will return the selected file list so i have collected the files here inside this list then we have given a check like if list is not null then we will go for the iteration for the list so we have used the for loop and one by one we have open the files okay so that's why we have used this for loop i think this is clear and now going to save this and uh, i'm going to run this file before running it i'm doing a clean build again of this project okay guys it's uh, ready to run now run it okay now you can see i'm going to press this button again and just click on it okay the file chooser dialog is open now we have to select the multiple files to open so i'm taking pictures to open so i'm going to desktop and there's a folder so press the control key on your keyboard and select all the files and press open yeah okay guys let's see here we have selected the four files and the all four files are open and this is open inside this image viewer provided by the windows 10 it's awesome so i'm going to close it one by one So guys we have seen the single file chooser and we have seen the multiple file chooser also we have gone through the way uh, so how we can open the selected files selected by these file chooser i hope this concept is clear to you and uh, if you have still any doubts so please comment below i will try to reply as soon as possible that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching